September is here. Fall is here. 2020. Ooh, this do wish is in my season. I am. It is my time now. But this past summer, 2020, I have been using and, and testing and purchasing quite a bit of skincare, some personal care items, as well as uh, makeup. So I'm going to split it up. Makeup's gonna be in a separate video. I'm gonna first off with sunscreen. I've been testing two new products here. So one is actually fairly new on the market. The other one is a brand. Um, this is the Elta MD skincare. This is, when you think of sunscreen, and actually in my case, I think of higher end sunscreen, this would be the brand I would think of. This has a very like that cult-like following. You think of sunscreen, Ulta MD, uh, Elta, excuse me, MD usually is in that category. This also is fragrance-free. It doesn't have any of the parabens in it, anything that's gonna really irritate the skin. So just a good high protection, SPF 45 if I haven't said that, type of a sunscreen. This first starts out uh, a lot more shinier than it looks right now. However, throughout the day, I noticed that it's not looking matte, but it just pretty much stays, what I would say, shiny or dewier in just this T-zone area. So that's pretty much how it's been, I've noticed, each and every time I've used this. Not only is this offering that zinc protection, so you know, the rays are just bouncing off of it, this has zero zero white cast on the skin, not even along my hairline. And it's something that I really like. This is not marketed as a sunscreen that is supposed to be hydrating, but when I put it on my skin and start massaging it in, I feel this, this like coolness to it. On my skin, it feels as if it has like water. Water's been splashed on my skin. It's not marketed as anything as such, but it feels and it also just provides that comfort of hydration. I don't know how it's doing that, but it does. So those would be the top things I like about this sunscreen. There is only one thing I don't like about the sunscreen. One, it has only 9% zinc oxide. That's it. And it also has a chemical sunscreen blended in with it. Let's see which. Yeah, it does, 7.5%, but the zinc is 9%. So in my case, what I'm looking for is again, that mineral, I want it to be all mineral protection. I'm gonna be asking for a lot of things because that is what I want. I wanna see the technology and sunscreen advancing and offer that protection. My second sunscreen I've been using is the La Roche-Posay. This is a new one. SPF 50, again, body and face, broad spectrum sunscreen. Now this is new because it's the mineral version and it states the sunscreen gentle lotion, 100% mineral. So this is new on the market. Now, the percentage for this is 15% zinc, 5% for the titanium dioxide. I was excited to try this. However, looking at the reviews on various websites, uh, people with our customers with lighter skin, they were stating the sunscreen has a white cast. I can see a, I can see a white cast, but on La Roche-Posay's in, uh, not Instagram, YouTube channel. They have a very short clip video where they're rubbing it into all different types of skin tones and the white cast disappears. The white cast that this uh, sunscreen produces, it disappears. It disappears. I saw it disappear with my own eyes. That's the problem. That information is not being told to the potential customers on the various social media channels from the brand and on, of course, their videos. So unless you, you know, you put it on and you rub it in it and then you see the white cast and you're just like, forget it. I'm going to take this off. You have to wait. I timed it. Five minutes. It was gone. If I suddenly hear that LaRoche is putting that into their marketing, they better pay me. Pay me because I timed it and I filmed it. Full five minutes and it's gone. I will speed it up so that way you don't have to sit five minutes uh, to watch it.
I'm just glad that there is a La Roche-Posay mineral based sunscreen now. Their other ones are pretty much all uh, chemical that I feel is offering me great protection. Um, again, I can get it in my local CVS, the drugstore, and I'm, I'm pleased with it. So wanted to definitely let you know about that. It's new. Give it the time it needs to sink in and it does turn transparent. Moving on, I have one hair item I wanna share with you. I was so excited to come across these at my local Ulta. It's the headband by the brand Kitsch, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And the reason why I was so happy for this is the current one I was using, I still have it here, it's from Turby Twist. But I wasn't able to find this anymore, even just Googling and looking on Amazon. Headband style is what I prefer to use when I before I go in the shower because it will cover up my hair my my edges all around secure it and then I don't have to worry about my hair getting wet so that's why I wanted the headband it just works for me so the turkey ones I've had for definitely quite some time so this velcro is kind of you know losing its give and so when I came across this I had no idea this was like the only brand I could find I was so excited and sure enough this has a nice strong grip I mean you barely touch it and it's it is secure, comes in different uh, styles. You can get uh, like polka dots and then of course like the animal print. The next item is a perfume. This is from YSL and it is called the Mon Peri Edit Parfum. When I first came across this perfume, it was when it was smelt like sprayed in the air and then I smelt it in the air and I said, that smells so sweet, just so sweet as can be. When I smell stuff that is just so sweet, it just instantly turns me off. I just, I can't help it. I think back to childhood and everything being, you're supposed to, you know, you're a girl, you're supposed to wear pink every day and, you know, sugar and spice and everything nice, Stephanie, and comb your hair. And then of course I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna wear black all day. I smelt it and I was like, no, it smells so sweet. <laughs> It smells so sweet now. And then I put it on. I put it on my actual skin and that changed everything. I think just my chemistry mixes, it's probably that you know, the dark and the sultriness mixes with the sweet in the air. And it was like that perfect little, you know, happy medium. I'll just list a few of the notes. It states strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange flower, jasmine, white peony, you know, stuff that I would think, oh, maybe I would like that. So it's just, a, it's a lesson to myself to always remember wear it try to put it on your skin before you cast it off and i've received i would say probably over the course of wearing it for about four weeks here and there when i go out i'll get compliments here and there not as much as i noticed from other perfumes but i do get compliments on it so yeah it's some and so something that i'm glad i have Will I buy a full size? I'm not particularly sure yet, but I was just say I was just surprised. Next item I have, Cher. This is from Avishi. It's the Mineral 89. It's their eye serum. I think of it very much as the existing uh, Mineral 89 um, face serum, doing the same thing, except this is just for the eye area. I've had zero eye irritation. Do you know if you even get up too close up in the eye area? Nothing, but just something that's going to help brighten your under eye because it has caffeine in it. So if you have puffy eyes, I don't have puffy eyes in the morning, but it has that high concentration of caffeine. It's going to help, you know, look a little more alert and it's just supposed to, you know, help with soften the area and add the hydration. Another item I have that I actually already repurchased is a uh, another serum. This is from Trader Joe's of all places. I don't think of skincare in Trader Joe's in one thought process but I do now this is their nourish uh, hyaluronic moisture boost serum this is a product that came uh, recommended to me from a doctor friend and this is something that she uses and just discussing this with her she said it's a, something that is very simple that gives her a lot of hydration this serum is named I would say perfect with the whole booster moisture um, infused in the title because it is giving the, the hydration 
but it's also giving the booster of the collagen of, for the skin. It's helping to improve the skin, your barrier. So then you have the moisture and then that uh, barrier to help kind of moisturize and plump up the skin. It has a texture of like a jelly. When I, I do two pumps, it has that jelly type texture, almost like, um, well, jello, you know, the wiggle, kind of wiggles like that. But it does start to go onto the skin and it turns into like, I would say like a semi medium thick texture. And then it does just your skin starts to absorb it. I really like this. I keep it also in my fridge where it's nice and cool and it just feels so good on the skin. Now Fourth Ray has their milks, the face milks. They have the face milks and they have the serums. I didn't really gravitate towards the face milk. I gravitated towards the serums. They are the easiest and the quickest way for me to try it out. And then I finish them up. I, I feel like I finish them up fairly quickly. So these are the three I have now. And they just dropped a pineapple one and serum one. Of course, I'm interested in it. So I want to go, let's see. Let's do a quick ranking real quick. So I'm going to start off with the one that I like the most. This is the avocado and aloe double shot serum. You like that dewy, blowy look on the skin. Let's say you just want to walk around with that, no makeup. This is where it's at. So this is marketed as, you know, all their face serums and the milks too, like they have the properties, like if you normal skin, dry skin. So some is going to give you this, some is going to give you the moisture, some is going to give you the antioxidant. This is going to give you the antioxidant. I think it has the A and the C and the D in it. I like the way the formula feels. It's a thin texture. I like, you know, you just shake it up. It's just a nice serum. This is something I want to buy again. Then my second favorite is the cactus one. This is the hydrating serum boost. I actually will put this one on because this has a thinner texture than the um, Trader Joe's. I put this on first and then I put on the Trader Joe's. Again, just feeding the moisture in. I feel moving forward that I'm just going to stick with the um, Trader Joe's. So I have it. I'm trying it out, but I'm feeling at this point, now that I'm just using two hydrating serums like neck and neck. I like the Trader Joe's over um, the um, fourth ray. Then the last one is uh, their blue light. This is the protection serum boost. Now this is the third one you want to say in ranking because I just received this one. So I've only been using it for about a week, a week and a half. Of course, I want more time, so that's why it's going to be the last one. But the blue light, it's supposed to be that protection, the ingredients to help protect the skin. Again, um, with whatever the light that's coming out, you know, radiating from the phones, the cell phones, the TV, and all the other blue light that, you know, we can't necessarily see. So because of that, I said, let me go ahead and try this. Let me see the texture. It's pretty interesting because I do. I will fall for every new serum they make. And let me try it out. So I reserve this for mornings because that's when I pretty much tend to be in front of the computer more and on the phones and, and out in the sun and so forth. And... This is something, well, again, only using it a week and a half, but it is something I feel that I, for me, I feel I probably don't need this. I think it's just, I hate to say what might be a gimmicky blue light type of a, a product, but if I didn't have all my other <laughs> antioxidant stuff that I use in the morning, then I can be like, okay, maybe I can fit this in. But again, it's something I wanted to try. It's not something I feel that I necessarily might need. So put it that way in my skincare routine. So I'll use it up, but it's not something that myself I'm going to go uh, purchase again. My last item is from Pixie. I did mention this in a prior video. This is their Skin Treats Jasmine Oil Blend. So this is something they had sent to me, their Radiance Recovery Oil. If they had not sent this to me, it's not something I would have just naturally started to go research or whatnot on my own or pick up. Because usually when I read that, okay, these ingredients for this oil or this serum is meant for people with like dull uh, skin, needs a little bit more radiance. I say, well, I'm already doing products that are offering that, like my skin's already glowing on its own. So I don't necessarily will gravitate towards this. But when this came, I did read up on it and I said, well, I do like the smell of jasmine. So let me try it. Oh, every time I smell it, 
every time I put it on, I'm happy because I do, I enjoy the smell of jasmine. It is not overly powerful, but it is something where, I mean, my senses are like, I do like this oil. Very, very little products will target my senses where I'm just like, whoa, where's that product? Where is it? It, it takes a lot to get me in that mood. <laughs> when you've captured my attention, which is as simple as, you know, the, the mood that I get from my nose, you got me. That's it. Those are the 10 skincare items to personal or a few personal items, personal care items as well. So let me know. Have you tried anything? Leave them down in the comments. Any additional questions on any products? Definitely leave them down in the comments as well. And I'll answer you right back. Thank you everyone for stopping by and watching as always. Greatly appreciate it spending time with me. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. Look out for one another and take care of yourself out there. I will see you in the next video. Bye.